again YouTube I'm back <clears throat> um, and I've come back to last year's shelter I did say I was going to use all this wood as firewood one day I'm not going to use it all today but I'm going to start you I mean that was a mission to collect all of that so let's use it I've got a fire pit it's going to rain at some point today so I've set the shelter up in this flat style I don't think it's going to rain that heavy. If it does, then I'll have to lower the sides or keep going like this. I've done this method, which I sometimes like bunch a load of hanging branches down and wrap around. If you're only there for a night or just as a day as I am today, then it's fine to do that. But yeah, let's use up some of this firewood. I'm going to do a video now on... Um... Someone sent me a message when I showed my custom knife. Someone showed me, uh, sent me a message saying, can you show us that Maya dust? Now, I got it free from the Bushcraft magazine, so I haven't used it yet it's in my um it's in my knife which is in here and it's in this little pouch and uh, i'm gonna set the tripod i'll get it out and start a fire with it see how it works right so i've just got a layer of logs down then i've got some very very damp birch bark i found on the floor but as you all know normally oils up all right and um i'm gonna get this gear on the go hopefully Maya dust Take it, I'm supposed to use the whole thing. Don't know. It comes with a little, uh, like my fire thing. Okay, so that's it all down. You can see. Big powder pile of this wire dust. Well, it's not as good as a piece of cotton wool. <clears throat> it's a lot more natural. Maybe I've got too much. As I said, I've never used this like my fire stuff before. So I've got no idea how well this is going to work. Maybe what I'll do is put some shavings of the rod in there first. Maybe I'll just get my lighter out. So I do want to fire. Oh, there we go. Now you get there in the end, didn't we? No, it's not bad. Little flame. As I said, I've never used this, I've got a pile of sticks waiting, but I just want to see how long it burns for and stuff, so if it goes out, I've always got my faithful cotton wool with me to aid the process if need be. This birch bark is extremely damp. Extremely damp. Rotten on the floor, but as long as them oils catch. Oh. Everything's very, very damp today. I've got these old Maya sticks that I harvested. I don't know if these are going to do any good. Maybe I should leave the birch bark out of it. And go straight to my twigs, which are also damp. Could really do with a better fire lighter. I think this is why I've never brought this stuff, because I don't really rate it that much. I know it's full of full of goodness, fire lighting goodness, but as you can see that just went out quite easy. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm sure they charge a fortune for it. And you can buy cotton wool and Vaseline for a lot cheaper and make loads. Because this, this is natural, but I've not found this in the wood today, so it doesn't really make I've had this sitting around for a bit. I don't know if that's affected it at all. You'd hope not. Especially if it's in a survival kit or something. Right, so we've got our flame again. And I hope these are really damp, so. Uh, 
we need to hold them over the flame. I think I might have just smothered it a bit with the uh, damp birch bark. And I'm in a slight, I'm in my fire, old fire pit, so. What a load of sh It's twice it's gone out on me now. I'm sure someone will make a suggestion about a better way to do this, but at the end of the day, if you can't light it with sparks from a fire still and keep it going, then what's the bloody point? What are you supposed to do? Just keep shoveling it on till you get fire? I would not have this in my survival kit. Now, like I say, this, has, this may have dried out a little bit, but what good's that to you? As you all know, Vaseline will not dry out, or cotton balls soaked in wax will not dry out. Come on, you bastard. This is going to be a long video. I think it'll be one of those ones that says fail after it. Oh, we've got spark again. See what I'm going to do. If I can get it out quickly. Come on, you little. It goes out. Oh, you should have got this ready. Excuse any swearing. I haven't made a video for a while, so I'm forgetting. You're not really supposed to swear. Now this is a cotton ball. Oh, come on. Imagine if this was all you had. You would not be a happy chappy right now. Gimmicks. All gimmicks. Now, if at first you don't succeed with gimmicks and you're really dying for a cup of tea, get your lighter out, get your cotton wool ball soaked in wax, especially when it's a very damp day, it's October, so it's been raining a lot in England. Get one of these little bad boys on the go. And get yourself a fire going without pissing about. Mire dust. Schmeyer dust. Load of crap. Not happy with that. Not impressed. Nothing. Toilet. Not. Well, I've never brought any of it for a damn good reason. That's obviously why they're giving it away on the front of magazines because it's crap. And yeah, I know someone's going to comment and go, "This stuff's excellent. I've got tins of it, and I take it out and." You've all just seen that fail quite miserably on me there. Um, might look up the price when I'm making this video and sort of post the... This birch bark's not very good, I think it's a bit too rotten. It will burn eventually, but... Oh, there you go, it's going. But yeah, I think I might post a video onto the actual cost of that Maya dust. You all know how much a cotton wool ball is minus pence plus some wax from some old candles you're laughing just completely wasted my time there and wasted the video but at least it goes to show I'm still going to put this video up it's probably just me nattering on the load moaning about my dust but this is my opinion on it shite I mean, it is an excessively damp day today. Other than it raining, you're probably not going to get worse wet conditions. Everything is completely soaked. So, in the summer, that probably would in the summer that would have definitely lit a fire, without question. When all your twigs are 
nice and dry and stuff, but then where's the fun in that? I mean, we're struggling at the minute because all this stuff is laying on the floor, see, so it's all very damp on bloody definitely want to use it because it's all my old stuff that I chopped out and I want to get rid of it. You can hear it bubbling, smoking. I could try these Meyer sticks out but I've got no idea how they're going to get on. And I've only got that one cotton wool ball with me. I don't want all my efforts to be to waste. There we go, they've got their own end. So I'm going to just stick these pine sticks, fire sticks on the top now. Hopefully they'll light nicely, but they might not, because like I say, they've been sitting in a drawer. So I think pine resin is, I've got another video on pine resin, where I harvested it myself from a very, very rotten pine stump. And uh, it was just the best stuff ever. I mean, you can refer to that video, but it's just like licorice. And it goes up with one tiny little spark and just sits there light in a way. Oh yeah, I don't know if the, that's the Meyer stick. The old one's going up or not there. Something's setting a light. They're still, I'm sure they'll still have some resin in them. days like today though you really do have to you know be a fire doctor but this is the funny thing in this in the summer it's so easy to light a fire it's ridiculous you come along like I say that Maya dust would have done it easy no problem everything bone dry fires light them bloody selves but I don't really I do like doing it because I just like to light fires full stop as you all probably do, but getting a brew on and whatnot. But it's better if there's a little bit of a challenge like that, then it, it's a lot more satisfaction when the fire's actually lit, like now when it's going. It feels better. Even if you are getting wet wood smoke in your face. Sorry for swearing all the time, kids. Because I know there is a few young subscribers. The only words are they won't rip your insides out and destroy you, even though my son won't be swearing, but you know, sorry, apologies. If anyone was sitting over there listening to me now, they'd think I was completely off my nut. Another reason I've been away for a while, not doing as many videos, is because I've been writing a book. I've been writing for years, and I've just finished one off and it's been being edited and stuff, but yeah, nothing to do with bushcraft, so crime thriller fiction so I'll post about it when it's done anyone wants to buy it nice one right so Maya spit Maya dust fail epic fail dude no good at all will I be ever buying that no never ever ever will I ever be using it again no never ever ever have I learned a valuable lesson not really because I didn't buy it, someone sent me it in a bushcraft magazine for free. But yeah, light my fire, your mind does. Absolute poo. I'll stick to my old faithfuls.